I just had a conversation with somebody, so this has got this like fresh on my mind, which means you're gonna hear about it because I'm trying to make a more conscious effort to be as brutally honest with you as I can about some things, there are just some truths like in life and you should hear about them. And some of them I didn't know before people showed me and this is one of them. And that is there, there's different kinds of um, interactions with music. And all too often we only do one of them, right? We listen to music from a very surface level and we never hear music. We never hear what's behind the music. We're listening, you see the difference between listening and really hearing music is that when you're listening, you're actively dissecting what's going on in the music. What is the bass doing? What is the guitar doing? What are the drums doing? Was that impressive? Do I like it? You're judging this from a theoretical standpoint. You see, theory comes after creation. The theory comes to explain why the artist created something. And if you're just listening from your mind, you're never gonna hear the art. That's like looking at an abstract painting and going, my child could do that, my three-year-old could do that, and never understanding and really seeing what's going on. You're just looking at it. You're not seeing the art behind what's going on. You're not seeing the passion that was put into that. You're not seeing the, the view of the world that this artist was trying to portray through an abstract painting. And that is the difference between listening and really hearing and with the advent of the internet it's great because we have access to so much but so many people are they're operating on the surface level of listening to a song instead of sitting back and closing your eyes and hearing the music so the next time you listen to a song, the next time you listen to a drum solo, especially a drum solo, we're all drummers. We love to, you know, geek out about the technical side of things. The only reason you increase your technical ability is so that you can portray the music better. The music that's in here that you're trying to get out to people, that is why you increase your facility on this thing. That's the whole reason we try to get better at single stroke rolls and double stroke rolls. Is there a time for listening and dissection? Absolutely. In a theoretical realm, you need to be able to listen and dissect. But see, you can't properly listen until you hear what the music is doing. Until that music has touched you on a deeper level and you go, you know, I want to find out what they're doing. You can't properly listen to it and dissect it because if you do that, you're listening from a viewpoint of this judgmental thing of, well, they didn't really play anything technically hard there. He repeated the same thing 8,000 times. You're judging. You're not hearing things. If you hear it first, then you can listen from a space of opening up and going, man, what did he do? How did Miles Davis play that one note and knock me flat on my butt? How did he do that, man? How did he choose that one extension on that chord and all of a sudden I'm floored? How did Bach do that? How did Beethoven do that? How did whatever drummer you want to fill in the blank with, how did they do that so that it touched me on such a deep level? See, if we can learn to truly hear music and not just listen to it without hearing it first, see that, man, that's a whole other world. You're going to hear colors that you've never heard. You're going to hear things and experience music on a level that it was meant to be, and that is you're seeing the world from that artist's viewpoint. They're trying to portray what the world looked like inside of them, and really that's the whole purpose of this whole thing. This whole channel, this whole kit that's awesome, these symbols, all of these inanimate, inanimate objects, I'm just trying to use them to give you a little look of like how I see the world. This is how I see it. And it's one thing to hear that, and then we also have to have the confidence to be able to present that to the world and go, this is how I see things. If we can get to that place, that's where true artistry is. That's where true music is. That's where the true artists function from. And that is really a place that you want to go because you can, hear, you can hear and see things that you've never seen before. This isn't like some weird mumbo jumbo Stevens gone. No, man, this is what music is about. So stop listening to music before you've actually heard what that music is trying to say. Get into a room by yourself, turn the lights off, press play, and close your eyes and listen to the music. Listen to the dynamics. Listen to the feel. Listen to how the chords rub against each other. Listen to the rhythms. And don't judge it 
from a purely technical standpoint until you've heard it from an emotional standpoint. If you'll do that, I promise you, your playing will go from here to here overnight.